in three, a two, a one. Welcome back, I'm Paul. And I'm Michael. And today we're going to be making the Vesper cocktail. So yeah. this is like the cocktail that came out of Casino Royale, mm -hmm. the James Bond, what is his name? Ian Fleming? Ian Fleming uh, is the author. Oh, is that the author of James Bond? Yeah, 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 007. I never read it, I've yeah. only watched it. I hope it's Ian Fleming. Hey Siri, who wrote the novels of James Bond? Yeah, Ian Fleming. Ian Fleming. Come on, yeah. Thanks, Siri. So I'm I'm excited because I've never had the Vesper. Mm -hmm. I've watched the movie, like I wanna try it. Yep. And you're like, it's amazing every time. And you never make it for me. <laughs> well today's the day. I have one of those. <laughs> so blind. It's also very sneaky because it's like it's uh, if you make it the right way and if you make it with the correct ingredients, it's very smooth and a killer of a cocktail. If you have more than one, you're gonna be on the floor. Alright. Yeah. Especially if you make it like the martini way. Is that how is, you're gonna do it? Well, I'm gonna. We're gonna make. We're gonna make one cocktail, okay. but we're gonna split it between the two of us okay. because the martini way is like. Um, I don't know if you guys know. Like, if you ever go to any of the restaurants where like martinis are usually four ounces of alcohol, it's which a is lot. it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. So we we have um, got who's chilling here. We have some ice in here, and so it's pretty easy. It's a gin forward martini style cocktail. Yeah. Okay, so we need um, three ounces of gin. And then we need one ounce of vodka. I know you probably don't know the answer to this, but yes. any reason why the gin and the vodka? Does the vodka bring anything? Um, I actually don't know. But I know I know in the book it was it was Gordon's gin. Uh, I don't know what kind of vodka they use. It was either Gordon's gin or Gordon's, I think it's Gordon's gin. In the book they give you the recipe too. I didn't. I thought the Vesper was made up for the movie. I didn't know it was from the book. Well, the book, the book is Casino Royale. Three measures of Gordon's, one of vodka, half a measure of Kina Lily, shake it over rice, and then add a thin slice of lemon peel. Yes, sir. You learn something new every day. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay, and then half an ounce of uh, Lule, which is basically a French apertifo wine, um, like a fortified white wine. It's okay. used, used in cocktails. You don't use that much of this usually, so kind of treat it like wine and make sure you keep it in the fridge after you open it. Okay. Because eventually, like just like vermouth, it will go bad. Can I taste a little on its own? Just a touch. It smells like a sweet white wine. Like, yeah. No, it's not super sweet though. This is Moscato, or Muscatel in Spain. It's a very similar, same, like almost a honey kind of taste to it. Mm -hmm. Slightly floral. Beautiful. You it's like nice. it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's great for, for a mixer. Okay, now we mix. All right, so I'm gonna dump these out. So there's one cocktail that you're splitting up to two. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, yeah, I mean, like, technically, this is like four and a half shots of alcohol in here, and it's like pure alcohol. So technically, that's, uh, so that's gonna be like two and change. So it is like one standard cocktail, but if you wanted to make it like this way, it's just like, you would just have one, yeah. I think, yeah. because she's strong, she's deadly, and she's a killer. Da -da -da -da. Copyright. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> Strike. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then just a little bit of lemon peel. Alright, let's, let's try, try it. Thank you. Cheers. I'm excited. Cheers. What do you think? I was initially expecting it to be sweeter because of the roulette. No, but it's just, this is... It's a very dry cup. It's like a martini. But for some reason, I think just the combination of all the ingredients and how they kind of combine together, it's a very smooth martini. It is. It's you very know? smooth. I like the expressed lemon on it. You actually get that on the aroma and the mm -hmm. taste. And then it, that kind of helped mellow out some of the gin botanicals. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Yeah. And then, and then, so you can always kind of change it up in terms of like the gin, because gin, all different kinds of gin will give you different profiles. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite gins is um, the Botanist. Not, Botanist not, is excellent. Yeah, not sponsored, but that one is, is really great. This one, um, the Beef Eaters gin, I really like classic. this too. It's a classic. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, no, this is excellent. Nice. Cheers. Let us know what you guys think of the Vesper. Yeah. If you like it, hate it, leave a comment below. If you think it's a martini, you agree with me, let us know. <laughs> yeah. Comment, like, and subscribe if you guys like this video, and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Cheers. Cheers.